Hey, and welcome to my first vlog type video. Now you may be wondering, why are you starting a vlogging channel? And that would be a really excellent question. My answer to it would be, I'm starting a vlogging channel because I like to do a lot of things. I like to sing, act, which would be like, you know, sketch comedy. Just be creative generally. I like to stick my thumb in all of the creativity plum pies. So gaming just incorporated a tiny amount of that. I do do some singing on there. There is some creativity involved in it. Eventually I hope to upload some Minecraft maps and stuff up there. And, you know, there is some creativity in playing along and kind of coming up with improv behind uh, doing more roleplay, pretending to be the character, uh, figuring out the storyline, blah 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 blah. So there's some creativity in gaming, but this will be able to showcase the other aspects of creativity that I don't get to showcase in real life. Plus, I'll get to do vlogging, which is something that I have looked forward to for years. I just didn't have a camera. And secondly, I would answer your question as, well, I just felt like vlogging. I've wanted to for a while, but I always felt like I really needed to have a good fan base first, which is why I started the gaming channel first, because, well, let's face it, you can't do a Q&A when you only have two subscribers. So I really want this channel to become something that a fan base really participated into, Part participated into, contributed to. And it wouldn't really be that without a fan base. So I just decided to go ahead with it anyway. And, you know, the first couple of videos I do don't really have to have anything to do with a fan base, and I'll build that up, so we'll we'll see where this goes. Definitely my gaming channel, though, I will be focusing more on, I will say that, than this channel, because, well, my gaming channel is first bigger than this channel, and secondly, uh, it's a lot easier to edit gaming videos, at least for me, than it is to edit these types of videos. So you might be wondering, why are you starting a vlogging channel? You don't even really have that big of a fan base on your gaming channel, and I would respond, yeah, 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 that's true, I just really felt like showcasing some of the other sides of me in this vlogging channel, and you know, you can get to know me if you feel like doing that. Anyway, now that that's over with, as you have already seen by the description up there, or down there, or wherever else you will find the description, this is the dark side of YouTube, or, you know, the internet, I guess. Mostly YouTube. But before I begin, I'm going to bring up three things that are really dark in the real world before we go into the videos. Number one, Moby Dick. I'm only halfway through this thing, I have to read it for school, but by god, it's, it's not an incredibly fascinating book by any means. Number two, my hair. My hair is like the flattest thing on earth, and it's really long right now, I really need to get it cut. So it's like I have a mop sitting on top of my head. I can do some really rocking, rock hair flips. Ow. <laughs> so, other than that though, yeah, it, ne it needs to be cut because it keeps going in my eyes, which bugs me to no end. And three. Now, these are actually good, so I guess they're not dark, but I found these on a clearance section. They are pumpkin spiced tortilla chips, or as the bottom of the uh, bag says, it's a cracker, too! Registered trademark, so don't use that, kids, because that would be copyright infringement. But, anyway, I've been sacking on them. They're really good, which I guess is the basic white girl in me talking. Anyway, they're really good, and it's just kind of weird that I found them, because right now it's January 13th, but when I got them, it was like January 9th or 10th. So, the fact that they still had pumpkin spice stuff then is mind-boggling. Grant you, they were on clearance, so. So, straight to the videos. Now, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how these will work. Probably there will be a video here, because there's a lot of blank space. And uh, you'll watch the video, you'll watch my reactions, and then before I move on to the next video, I will, ugh, hair curtain, I will basically leave some parting remarks on it. Now, they will be in the description below too, so if you would like to watch these videos and get your reactions before you see my reactions and then get your final statements on them before I get my final statements, 
or whatever the heck you want to do with the links in the description, they will be there for you. Or, you know, if you want to share them with all your friends. Or like them, or add them to a playlist. Do whatever you want with the stupid videos, you get what I'm trying to say, okay? Alright, the headphones are in, and here we go with my first video. I'll, obviously, I'll be looking down all the time because my laptop's right there. So, sorry. Alright, so this first one is... Then I Don't Need a Jacket Tetris Version. Now, I'm guessing I Don't Need a Jacket is a meme of some kind. I, I haven't personally seen this meme or viral video, so I don't know if it's a viral video of some kind. I just saw this version. Here we go. Pretty much everywhere, it's gonna be hot. Try that? Then I don't need a jacket. Oh, she doesn't need a jacket. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, thank you. Jacket. Jacket. Thanks, Arthur. Thanks, Arthur. So yeah, I really like that one. I don't, I don't, I just, I just really like it. So thank you, Arthur. Well, technically, thank you whoever made that video. Let's see. Clicky, clicky. Paul Zai. Thank you. You are truly the next I get a gift to humanity. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right. This next one, I didn't find offensive, but some people may. Just know that in advance. It's called Wildebeest. Here we go. This footage of a wildebeest getting killed by lions made me feel sad for the wildebeest. So, I used computers to turn the wildebeest into a Nazi. Now I'm glad that it's dead. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what to feel about that video at all. So instead, let's talk about how tired I am, just to fill up the space of time I should have spent talking about it. Just to kind of like fill you in, this is just, since this is my first vlog, I want to put a little bit of my life in it. So this is the life section. Skip a little head on the video if you don't want to hear about my life. Anyway, every Wednesday I record. Uh, I'm home alone for a little bit during that time, so I just like cram all of the recording into one day. So uh, I recorded, just to give you a little bit of extra stuff I guess, I recorded Spooky's House of Jump Scares part, only god knows, uh, I think part 8? It's, it has deer, the evil slender deer, so I think that's part 8. Editing Lucas, correct me if I'm wrong, put a blurb there or something that says no, part 10. And then I also recorded the first part of Silent Sands. So, that's... That, that's... All I'm recording today, and then I'm recording this. Which, all in all, is about... An hour and a half to... Three hours worth of recording. Normally, I do per day. And I do that every week. And then I'll work throughout the week on getting uploads up. I really want, a. Uh, an uploading schedule, I've been working really hard to do that. Sometimes I manage it, sometimes I don't. Like this week I'm not really managing that. But, uh, I want videos to go up at noon GMT. I just thought it would be nice because I really want global viewers, which <laughs> is about as hopeful to wish for as my fan base. Anyway, the whole point of this is normally on Tuesday nights, uh, I do uh, musical theater. I'm not gonna say where and stuff because I'm 15 and I don't want people to start stalking me, but I do musical theater every Tuesday and so I get, normally I get to bed like 12.31 and so it, it sucked recently because I'm always so tired that I have horrible memory and normally I have an amazing memory. I flub up my words, I ramble, I do this strange thing where I do strange things with my voices, talk with my hands, say uh um a lot, so yeah. Basically that sucks. I don't really know how to fix it though. So if you notice like that in my videos, you can kind of tell that, that that's why. Like saying that twice and doing the awkward hand thing. Yeah, that's, that's all me being super tired. Just know that. Sleep kids, it's, it's good. I don't know why I'm saying kids. 
people, fans. Anyway, not sure what to think of the Wildebeest one. It didn't really make me sad either way. I mean, a Nazi's a Nazi, but not all of the Nazis were horrible people. Some helped the Jews escape, so... What if it was one of those good Nazi wildebeests? Then you'll feel sad again. It just... I don't know what to say about that. That's kind of the deep wildebeest, though. Moving on. You're about to listen to an extremely sad tale of a chicken nugger. <laughs> you can say that without cracking up. You sit at the restaurant with your young son. With your young son. He says he is hungry. Oh. You agree to get him. Oh, no, we're buffering. Open up to the kids' menu. Your child is far too young for adult food. Chicken Nugger. Chicken Nugger. Stares at you from. It the stares page. at you from the page. You don't understand. Your palms get sweaty and your son complains. He says he's hungry. Your mind strains, searching for an answer in a world of sweer potato and French fries. Sweet potato. You try to order the chicken nugger, but you cannot. Cannot. The words cannot escape they your cannot lips. cannot escape your lips. Your son is hungry, he complains. The waitress stares at you, her head a spinning chicken nugger, her arms swinging french fried. Your son cries the tears of a chicken nuggerless child. In your mind, you scream. It is raining sweer potato now. You have French fried engraved on your left temple and you do not understand. I don't understand either. Your son either. weeps in the corner. He is starving. Starving for the chicken nugger. That was really emotional. I wasn't expecting that. So, <laughs> my favorite line of all time was crying. It's the whole horrible memory tide thing, but crying the tears of a chicken nuggerless child. This entire thing, I think, will get you to any acting college you want. Just use it as your monologue, you'll get in. Perfect. But yeah, this was really emotional. Made me more sad than the wildebeest one. So, just don't, don't listen to it if you're, if you know the pain of the chicken nuggerless child, because I, I never ate chicken nuggets when I was a child. I always ate what adults ate. I like all food, pretty much. I'm not picky at all, so. I never had to deal with this. I would have ordered the sweet potato, to be honest, when I was young. <laughs> Alright, now this is Tom Scott, and Tom Scott is one of my favorite YouTubers. So, well, technically this is his other channel, Dark Squidge, but I couldn't resist to include this, because Tom Scott's known for getting really dark really fast, so basically just go to his channel and you'll find all sorts of dark videos. This particular one isn't super dark, it's just random. I don't know why I'm, I would call this video the dark side of YouTube. They're, they're just all random. Here we go. Planking. Jack up just discovered this amazing thing, it's called planking. Where have you been? Check it out. Well, he's dead. So yeah, shortest video on YouTube. I'm not sure what else I would say. It's planking. Don't plank underwater. Death happens. Now, I think this video gives... Oh god, it's staring at me. You'll, you'll see in a minute what I mean, but <laughs> its face is staring at me in the still at the beginning of the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't take it seriously. It's called The Almighty Loaf, and this one went viral, so you may have already seen it. I just can't take anything seriously when it's staring at me. Anyway, it, <laughs> I think it will give the Tetris Jacket song a run for its money. It's, it's so beautiful. Hey look, we can be twinsies. Alright, let's begin watching The Almighty Loaf. The comments on this section are, on this video are really weird, by the way. Beneath the skin, we are all ready. One. Oh, that's the, that's the cookie monster. Was it not your sin trapped the unicorn? 
Unicorns. Even now, the evil seed of what you've done germinates within you. There's a, there's a donut repair zone. That's happy. Right? <laughs> ah! The comments are explained. So yeah. That's the almighty loaf. Bow down before him. Or her. Or it. Honestly though, I don't know what the heck I just watched. I really don't. That's the dark side of YouTube I was talking about. What? We've gone this far, you can't go back. We're gone. Well, kind of continuing the baked goods theme, we have Herp Derp Food. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna watch it once through with my reaction, and then maybe I'll try some of the uh, pronunciations for this food. Alrighty, here goes. Nothing. Onion ring. Renata. Mush potato. Derps. Magno. Pish. Pish. Shrimp. Orange juice. Baguder. Tartar cute. Shy hip barf. Brussels sprouts. Broken double chest barga. Aquidad, Speggy and Murbles, Speggy and Murbles, Fruit, Ice Cream, Passicle, Cyril, Mark. Wow, I feel like I've learned so much and yet so little. Isn't the internet a wonderful place? All right, I'm gonna play it again, but this time I am going to follow along and say the the food names in my best character <laughs> voice. Here we go. Take two. Muffin. Onion, Onion ring. ring. Blanaba, Mersh Protruder, Gerps, Magno, Pish, Shrimp, Orange Juice, Spaghetti, Tartar Tea, Sharded Barf, Brussels Brots, Balkan Darble Cheeseburger, Aquadad, Speggy and Murbles, Feud, Ice Calm, Popsicle, Cyril, Mork. <laughs> uh, oh, that was way too much fun. Try it yourself. Do it in a public library. See the looks you get. I dare you. So, Christmas is over, but I just thought I'd share the most amazing Christmas song. You know, this person, there's just some people who are so talented, yet undiscovered, who just need to be put forth on a pillar of shining light, diamond, and gold, and hailed from the heavens Ah, I think I just did the wrong hail. Oops. And hailed from the heavens as just the most amazing singer, talented person. This person is one of them. They need to release a Christmas album. I would buy it in a heartbeat. So, we have a Christmas video called, well, not Christmas video, YouTube video called Happy Christmas. Enjoy. Outside the snow is falling, Santa's early who I know that lovely weather is here. <laughs> Best song ever, right? And and not the One Direction song. And we danced all night to the best song ever. Yeah, mystery solved. It was that song. So, you know what? I decided that just like the Herp Derp food, this needed to be recreated. Obviously, I am not anywhere near the skill level that this person is at, but I will try my best. <laughs> you hear those loud rings, they take your hand away too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride here with you. Cause the snow is falling, and so I fall you. So it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go, let's look at the snow. Oh darn it, now I have this song stuck in my head. 
This is called Shack. I nurture my skin. I don't know what I just did with my hand there. This is called Shack. I nurture my skin. And so, I'll be watching Shaq nurture his skin. That sounds like porno. It's not. It's just a commercial about lotion that somebody edited. They edited it wonderfully. Edited it wonderfully. Could be next. <gasps> skin. I nurture my skin. Shh. No, tell her. I don't think this video needs any comment whatsoever, but we'll just move right along, okay? Oh my gosh. Somebody found real ghost footage on YouTube. So here we go, okay? Ooh, this is gonna be really scary, but I'm gonna hold on. Oh, an Illuminati confirmed, apparently. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Holy cow. Oh, there it is again. Oh, oh my gosh. Editing Lucas, replay that in slow-mo, just so everybody can see it, okay? for that one. I, ooh, that one, that one was scary. I mean, real ghost footage. And Illuminati confirmed, all in one day. Wow, I'm not sure I should go on. This next one is called Man Running From Cow, Cow Chasing Man Original. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a great video right off the bat, just from the title. Hey Dale. Hey Dale. Yep. This woman is obsessed with her horse. Well, obviously I see what happened here. The cow was a psychopathic murderer. It was trying to eat the man. And so he was running away screaming. I would do the exact same thing. Don't make fun of him. Don't be laughing. And I love how instead of running to help him from the psychopathic cow, the woman is just like, the woman who's obsessed with Dale the horse. The woman's just like. <laughs> I mean, listen to it. Right at the end, you can just hear her chuckle a little bit. She left him to die, but you know who will let his soul live forever. This next one is a video near and dear to my heart because, well, we've all been there. It's called News Reporter Chuck Storm Accident Blooper. Alright, eh, here we go. Hi, this is Chuck Storm. I'm live at the He's scene. At the scene. Last night there was a robbery at about 3.30 in the morning. Now, police have. Oh, God. Yep, we've all been there. Nice try, Chuck. Get better soon. Now, this next one has been leaked from a dating website where David Attenborough, which is funny because Spooky's House of Gem Scares, I mentioned him earlier and I just found this video. <laughs> Anywho, David Attenborough, fun love. So, here's a clip of the two meeting from their online dating profiles for the first time. Here we go. No buffering. <gasps> we're back. No, we're not. It's one animal that I don't need to sneak up on. Oh. Why would you say, oh, yeah, there we go. We're getting to the good part. If you're under 12, close your eyes. See that? Love at first sight just warms my heart. Well, of course you saw it. It's flipping right there. I'm weird sometimes. Sometimes. All the time. All the time. 
This next one should really be called What the f AVI? But instead it's Sausage and not even spelled correctly. Arms. Sausage arms. I don't even know. Here we go! Is that the Grand Canyon in the background? I think that's the Grand Canyon. I'm just trying not to look at the thing in the middle. That was beautiful. So beautiful. Alright, we are going to try recreating sausage arms. It's going to fail, but here we go. Alright, so first my head's out of shot. There, there are my arms. Okay, so we're gonna keep them up. And then we're going to raise foot and kill. Ow. Ow. Okay. Well, let's try again. Let's bend this way. Let's try that instead. Nope. Yeah, legs aren't meant to bend that way. We're just gonna move on, okay? Yeah, I, ca I can't, I tried. I tried impressing it, okay? No human can bend that way! I found a couple of funny unfriended ones, so <laughs> here's one of them. It's called Unfriended. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Who is that? I just tried to hang up on him. Can we get rid of this person? I don't know. Is this here the whole time? This is probably a glitch. Guess who? Well, the glitch just typed. Who is doing this? Alright, everyone, hands up right now. Doing this. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Oh! Oh my god. Um. Whoa. Did you guys see Nicole? Well, of course you saw it. It's flipping right there. You know who Nicole needs to find and start following? A beauty guru. What? Did you think I was gonna say Jesus? Pfft. No. Jesus would be the third thing I would have said that Nicole needed to find. What's the second, you ask? Now, this song is the second best song in the world. Obviously the first was the Christmas song. Nothing can beat that. Don't try. You can't, no matter how hard you try, you can't sing better than that. That's the ultimate level of singing. Anywho, you might be able to beat this and squeeze just in between the two songs, but it's highly doubtful that you'll be able to beat this song. It's the Year of the Sheep anthem, and we're no longer in the Year of the Sheep, but it still applies. It's very relevant. I don't know why I'm stroking my chest. It's still very relevant, a near and dear to your heart. It's the year of the sheep. It just fills me with such patriotic feelings and sadness whenever I hear it. Oh, you're gonna have to give me a minute before I come back. <laughs> Alright, so for this next video, it's called Too Spooky For Me. Uh, oddly enough, Markiplier's version of Spooky's House of Jump Scares is in my suggested links after this. You done well, YouTube selection search thingy. You done well. It's Doge! Yay! Oh no, bad things are happening. Oh no. The truth is out. Doge commits genocide? Or Doge? Who is it? Doge or Doge? I don't know. Doge commits genocide? And Doge is Illuminati. Do you see it? Do you see the triangle? Because I see the triangle. Up next we have Kung Pao, Enter the Fist, Your Days Are Over, Mister, which is the absolute best karate movie I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. Your days are over, mister. That was the best voiceover I have ever seen. Or <laughs> voiceover. 
Best acting job I have ever seen. Best movie ever. Grammys, Tonys, Oscars. I think it's Oscars, that's movie. I could just look it up, I have a laptop in front of me, but I'm lazy. Don't hate me because I'm lazy, okay? And don't hate me because I'm beautiful, but you can't do that anyway because I'm not beautiful, so it's reverse psychology. You, know, you can't hate me if I'm beautiful because I'm not beautiful, I don't know. This is my personal reaction whenever I see a yard sale. I do this all the time. That's totally accurate information and I'm not lying to you just to be funny. I would never do that. Wow, a yard sale! I don't need to say anything more for it. My dancing was enough. Watch it in slow-mo now again. Yard sale! This next one should be switched with the Doge video. Cause it's too spooky for me. People with a weak heart, don't watch it please, okay? Okay? You're not clicking off the video. What, you, th you think I'm being silly here? It's terrifying. And I mean absolutely terrifying. I don't know why you're still here. Alright, I warned you. Here we go. Then again, I always knew Barney was a psychopath who would hide behind curtains. You know who will always be there and will never kill you. Well, you're wrong. It's not the Almighty Live. It's me! Yeah, I'll never kill you. Partly because I, I don't really even have any people watching my videos, so... Even if I were a psychopath, I wouldn't really be able to kill many of my fans. Plus, at this rate, if I killed one of you, it's like one-eighth of you gone. It's not good odds. Well, that took a really dark turn really fast. <laughs> also, welcome to my channel once again. Because my life is in a roller coaster of happiness and then despair. Let's move on. Seals with a gun. That's it. The title's self explanatory. Oh, it's over. That needs to be way longer. That, that's my one critique. Yeah, blah, blah. that's how I'm gonna intro this video. And it's going to work. Because why? Yes, select again. Bible for 400, please. During the second plague, these amphibians came out of the water. Stephen. What are frogs? Right. What are frogs? Uh... Thankfully, this was filmed before the days of Google. Nowadays, none of us have this problem. Shout out to the people of the past. They're the real MVPs. They paved the way so society could get to the glorious place it is, where information is traded from one point of the internet to another. Or yeah, they're all the cat photos. Those two. Now, this next one is the ghostly mouse howl. It's the BBC, or National Geographic, I guess, talking about this mouse. I actually live in the area where this mouse is found. So, I'm excited. Uh, maybe this can explain some of the noises I hear outside at night when I'm all alone. The mouse's ghostly howl stakes claim to hectares of Sonoran Desert. You can almost tell that the, <laughs> that the howl is trying not to laugh. The mouse is trying not to laugh. I mean, it's totally serious. That's what they actually sound like. Don't question me! So yeah, I, I hear these all the time at night. You know, just... You're sitting in bed almost asleep, and all of a sudden you hear echoing across the flat, desert, sandy plains. <laughs> I just can't copy it. It's uncopyable. Don't try, you'll hurt yourselves. Because I hurt myself. In here. A little piece of my soul was wrenched out. But you know who can return that piece of soul? Now this scene was cut from Forrest Gump because the directors just 
they thought it was too awesome for the movie and it would take away from the rest of the scenes. But here it is for the first time. Watch it. I honestly think they should have added it in. I disagree. I think that this awesome scene would have made the movie even better. It wouldn't have taken away from the other scenes. So here you go. What's my destiny, Mom? Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. What do you think? I think they should have left it in. It's just a tender scene. Alright, now we have one last one. Now, one of my favorite video games of all time is Just Dance. I know. I'm strange. But, there was a music video made for Just Dance for the song Chihuahua. Not even spelled correctly. Just, just watch it. Chihuahua. Oh, don't watch this if you have epilepsy. Don't, don't watch it, please. People with lasers coming out of the bed said uh, this entire video makes so much sense too. Back to dancing. Ow, on my elbow. So, yeah, that's what you get when you take the best song on the planet and give a dance to it. Basically, just most amazing music video ever. So much thought was put into that. And, um, just let's share a couple comments. I'm not sure who it's by, I'm not sure of the exact wording. But someone said, I'm surprised the editing software didn't crash. Me too. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate any support you want to give in helping me start off my dream for this vlogging channel. Um, I'm so excited to be doing this. I was so excited to uh, get on my g gaming channel. Uh, the speak, Lucas, speak. I was so excited to get on my gaming channel, and you know, I just recently passed 20 subscribers. That means so much to me. I I honestly can't express it enough in words. So, yeah. And I'm really proud of my uh, montage. 2014-2015 on my gaming channel, so go check that out, because I think that's like one of the videos I'm most proud of, because so many memories! 
don't know why I shouted that so loudly. Anyway, that's it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> it's not how you pronounce that word. <laughs> subscribe. Just... I appreciate any support. Seriously. I'm doing this because I enjoy it, but support is what makes me want to keep doing it. In a way. And me. I mean, I have to enjoy it to be able to want to do it. Anyway, enough rambling. I hope you have a spectacular rest of your day. I'm gonna leave you now, and hopefully you'll keep supporting this channel. I hope to see you guys around. I hope to be doing amazing things in the future. I'm really, really, really excited, or maybe that's just the fact that I'm so tired. It's hard to tell. Emotions are all a blur. But part of what I want this channel to be is I want it to be hugely user contributed to. So great English. So great English. Oh god. No. So leave anything you want me to do in the comments below. If you want me to sing a song, out my elbow. If you want me to do a dance. If you want me to, I don't know, have a topic for a video. Do a shout out for you. I'll probably ignore that last one, sorry. So yeah, I'll take a look at it and you just might see it on the screen. Plus, I'll give credit to anybody who comes up with ideas so you'll get a free shout out. I think that was way too excited. Yay, free shout out. I don't know, somewhere in between there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around. Au revoir!